You already know who it is. It's Trap Diggy Live in effect. Shot by dead shot. If it ain't dead shot, it's dead wrong. <laughs> I got people depend on me. My peoples know I'm in the streets. Took off the push when I was 16. I'm told a nine with a red bean. Selling that moon rock, Billy Jean. Living that life, it ain't what it seems. Everybody wanna talk about trap. Nobody don't wanna walk in trap jeans. Tell the people who we got with us here today. You already know who it is, man. It's just me. Trap. Trap dick. Straight out of Hartsville, South Carolina. Alright. What was it like growing up in uh, Hartsville? I really, um... It was crazy, but I, I, I grew up really in the raw. Chiraw, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I was back and forth from Chiraw to Hartsville. Hartsville was really just like demon time. So how you end up being back and forth from Sherrod, like your parents or something like that? Oh yeah, my dad was dead since '97. My dad died when I was one. Mm -hmm. So he, he was 17, and my mom was still young. Of course, he's 17. She young. Uh, she mm -hmm. like 16. So you think that had a oh, yeah, had positive negative. or negative effect on your uh, life? Your dad not being there. Both positive and negative, because I wouldn't be who I am today. If it was, yeah, cause mm -hmm. I feel me, it'd be a lot of changes. But as in him not being here, I didn't miss a father figure. All right, well shit, and a lot of your music, we hear you talking about Lincoln Ave and Cross Tracks. What's the significance of those two places? It's just the hood. Cross Tracks is just the hood. Lincoln Ave is one of the first streets in the hood. All right. Yeah. What's it, what was it like growing up on Lincoln Ave, anything? It's the high school path, like, you know what I'm saying? You get, everybody go through Lincoln. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't nothing spectacular about it. It's just that if you've been there for a long time, you know, like, yeah, it's Lincoln. Lincoln is school path. You, you got certain people that you can't walk up the street. Certain people can't. They got to take a long way. All right. Well, shit. How long you been rapping? And how, matter of fact, how you start rapping and how long you been rapping? I started rapping the November two thousand seventeen. I started rapping from yeah two thousand seventeen. What was your first song you had dropped? Whoever I ride on whoever. Whoever. Yeah, I ride on whoever. All right, and we see you working real closely with Shot by Nay. Like most of your visuals are shot by her. Like, what's your relationship with her? That's 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 family. Like Shot by Nay, that's family. Like like blood family like or blood family like blood come back that's blood you know what I'm saying that's mm -hmm. blood blood that's blood family like we can can country can that's 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 cousin okay so it's said that you got some sort of deal or something going on with Acon yeah how true is that yeah on Con Con gave me a distribution deal. Like, I say, the third time he met me, mm -hmm. he gave me a distribution deal. And as soon as he gave me it to, to me, I say, a month later, I was locked up. <laughs> All right, so you mean to tell me you started rapping, you said November 2017? Yeah. How long after you started rapping did you meet Akon and get the distribution deal and all that? About six months, seven months. That summer, right so, before that, like May. So what was it? What was it that he heard that made him offer you that deal? Uh, the mama song. The mama. Um, mama. I made a song off a of Lauren Hill beat, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it grabbed his attention. Like uh, it was say cheese, say cheese, sign cotton. He posted it and it grabbed his attention off say cheese. Oh, so he saw the song on say cheese, and that made him reach out to you. Yeah, like as soon as he saw the song, he reached out to me. And when he reached out to me, it was a coincidence that one his, his wife was really from South Carolina too. Mm -hmm. So it was like, oh yeah, you know, let's see what, let's see who you really is. And that's how we met. All right, and you said about a month after the distribution deal, you got locked up. Yeah, I got incarcerated with Big Boy Charles. All right, you want to talk? Can you talk about that or? No, the case still open on that one. Oh, all right, all right. The case still open on that. All right, well, shit, you just came home. Do you feel like the fans accepted you? Like, well, like welcomed you back home? Damn right. Like, 
not only the fans, it was just like the, the artists that grew past me. Right. They fans, they they made sure they accepted me. Like the artists, the ones that were past me, kind of 18, Vino, like Long Live Vino too, but like those people, like they made sure, like, oh yeah, try home, hey y'all, make sure y'all go go beat Buddy, he home. Mm -hmm. They did it. And how did that, how did that make you feel like coming home to all that love and Shit. accepting? Oh man, Fuji, I know showed me so much love. It was just, so many people showed me so much love. It was like, damn, do I do I still want to rap? That's all I really wanted to be is in the background. Mm -hmm. like, I just wanted to be with the niggas that's rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when they showed me so much love, it was like, nigga, you one of us. Like, nigga, you home. You you a real nigga. You ain't tell.